I just can't get over this like glass strawberry skin situation. <laughs> So I just did the latte makeup look and now I'm doing the strawberry makeup look and I only have Hailey Bieber to blame. But honestly, I'm okay with it because as long as she keeps that road glazing milk coming, do anything you want, honey. So just to get like really technical, really in depth, I looked up what exactly is the strawberry makeup look. So basically you can boil down the strawberry makeup look to a clean, no makeup makeup look. Emphasis on a bright pop of strawberry color on the cheeks as well as the lips. And then she used like a kind of glimmery peachy bronzy shade on the eyes. So take all of that and that's what we're going to be doing here today. I'm trying to follow exactly how she did this whole look. So I'm of course, I mean, I would start with this regardless, but I'm going to start with the road glazing milk. I did use this as my skincare, so I already have it on my face and I'm going to go ahead and just put some extra on my decollete. Again, if you haven't tried the road glazing milk, I literally don't know what you're doing with your life or your choices. It is just like the most beautiful, hydrating, elastic, bouncy base. Guys, I'm taking it back to college or my college days <laughs> where I drink like a Jack and Coke or a rum and Coke or whatever. I just don't do that anymore. And I just had a craving for it. I had a hankerin. And I'm going in with my Say Glowy Super Skin Hydra Bounce Foundation. I loved how my latte makeup turned out. And I feel like I'm going to love this even more <laughs> because like this look is calling my name. Like this is a Kate look. Okay, going in with my Glossier Stretch Concealer. Just any spots where I need some extra coverage. I had some like blemishes over here from the heat. I'm going to be applying the Fenty Body Sauce on my decollete right in front of you because this is always a part of the process and man oh man does it make a huge difference. All the way up the neck, all the way into the jawline, and then we're gonna bronze the makeup. Don't you worry. While I'm here, let me just tell you guys, I'm like shouting this from the damn rooftops because yes, oh yes, I did find a replacement finally for my beloved Laneige lip mask, which Laneige is not pro choice. So I've been looking for a pro choice lip mask that is just as good. And guys, I found it in the e.l.f. lip mask. So shout out to Jamie K for aggressively telling me I should get this product. Mm, it's just perfect because when I use the Tatcha lip mask, I didn't hate it, but it had like a stickiness to it. And I'm just not down with a stickiness. Okay, now I'm going in with that Jones Road gel bronzer. This is in the shade light. Like I cannot even handle the gorgeous, flawless, dewy finish of this bronzer. Like I truly cannot. Okay, so now we are fully bronzed. I'm gonna go in and take care of a little bit of shine with some powder. I'm using the Ilia Soft Focus Loose Powder. And we're just literally going over the entire face with just like the lightest application of powder. So these are my Benefit Brow products. I use them almost every single time I do my makeup because Alas, I have yet to find other brow shades and brow products that I really love that are pro-choice. She's getting tipsy. This is strong. So I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite eyeshadow stacks. This is the Peach Madeline stack from Kaja. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of bronze to this just to make sure it's nice and balanced because again, I did read that it's like peach slash bronze. And I'm gonna go in with the middle shade of that Kaja stack. Look at that. And then I'm just taking a big fluffy brush. This is from Rare Beauty. I think they meant this to be a highlighter brush, but I actually use it for this. I use it to just perfectly blend out eyeshadow looks so they look super seamless. I need to get another of these Persona eyeliners in the shade brown because I like black. Sometimes it's a little intense, but it's my favorite liner and it's all we got. So here we are. Okay, so Fenty Hella Thick applied. Honestly, I just didn't put that on camera because like, let's get to the goods. Let's get to the strawberry cheek. Am I right? Okay, so I know I use the Jones Road Gel Bronzer, but what I like to do because I'm an extra bitch, is I like to use the gel bronzer and have that like sheer beautifulness as like a base. And then I like to go in after I powdered everything just to kind of like finish off my makeup look, go in with the Jones Road Powder Bronzer because it really does give you this perfect blown out situation. The combo is, you're gonna see, you're gonna see what a difference 
just adding a little bit of this powder bronzer to the situation mix. Do you see how that just like pulled everything together, made everything look a little bit more blurred? So I'm gonna be using MAC in Heat Index. This is their Glow Play Blush. Look at that gorgeous matte pigment. This is such a unique, brilliant formula. Just taking whatever's left and putting it on my lips. And something I want to mention about blush application because I get the most questions about blush, period. The best way to deposit any blush, whether it be a dewy blush or something like this, you wanna make sure you're patting. It's going to give you the most gorgeous, natural blush application and it is not going to lift any of your other product, which is what will probably happen a lot of the time if you're rubbing and swiping quick little padding motions like this and just like circular motions to make sure that it's really, really blended in. That's the key. It's like, look at that. Honestly, all we need right now is some juicy gloss and some juicy highlighter. So I am going to go in with none other. I mean, is this not the perfect lip gloss? This is the Ami Cole lip oil in the shade Smitten. Oh my God. Now, if those aren't like juicy ass strawberry lips, I don't know what is. I'm gonna be honest with you, these cheeks and this lip are actually exceeding my expectations right now. And then I'm gonna go in with what I still think is one of the best highlighters I've ever found in my entire life. Like truly, e.l.f. is killing the game. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter and it is the lightest shade. And like, this is really just all I ever need in terms of glow. I put like a little bit, if I ever feel like I have extra product, I just put that glow product on my chest. What is even going on? I am filled with rage. Okay, so this is my finished strawberry makeup Luke situation and I'm completely in love with it. I'm not even gonna try to act surprised. I knew this makeup look was calling my name. It's like everything I love. But I have to say breaking out the MAC Glow Play Blush and Heat Index, man oh man was that the right choice. Okay guys, that wraps this video up. Thank you so much for joining me for this strawberry makeup look. As always, everything I talked about is linked down below in the description box. Those are affiliate links. And if you shop through my links, it really does help support my channel. So I thank you in advance. You guys are the best. Please stay safe out there and cheers till next time. Bye. Mm. Ah.